Hey guys, Kier here, and oh my god, <laughs> I can't believe that I'm doing a Q&A video for 500 subscribers. Thank you guys so freaking much. Um, so yeah, this celebration, we're going to do a simple podcast. Um, I really like the concept of podcasts, and I also want to try doing one, so why not do it for this video? You know, um, I'm going to answer... A lot of questions um, and tell some things about myself and how I feel so far on this YouTube journey. I, first of all, I never knew that it's gonna be 500 like this. Oh my gosh, because I, when I first started YouTube, my main goal was to just hit 100 subs and I'll be, you know, I wasn't gonna expect something. As great as you guys after the 100 mark journey. Um, I have met some more amazing people who support me. Um, thank you guys so much. The people that supported me. Even the haters. Because <laughs> haters makes me want to thrive more and make them hate more. Um, yeah, I am so happy about this. I want to thank you guys so, 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 so much for this. Um... Yeah, without further ado, let's answer some questions. So, okay, how old are you? All right, I'm 23 years old. Um, I turned 23 in May the 11th, so I haven't been 23 <laughs> for this long. So, yeah, college major. Okay, I major in graphic design and computer science. Um, it's been a ball so far in our school. As you guys, um, some of you guys probably don't know, I go to art school. I did went to a historical black college, which I had only my graphic, not graphic design, my computer science major. And then I transferred to art school to start my art career and all that good stuff. Okay, next question. What makes you want to be a YouTuber? Well, it all started when I was in middle school, um... I always talked about it. I was just fascinated with people posting videos and, you know, me being an artist, I was showing people around, you know, my art and I would try so hard to get people from different places to see my art and I didn't know how to do it. Um, so I was like, hey, I see people doing speed paints, drawing on YouTube. I want to do that. So um, they would really motivate me to be a YouTuber to show people my art and then later, um, I was inspired by Markiplier to do gaming videos because I love gaming. So um, that's what started the gaming journey, too, because I truly love gaming. So we're going to talk more about the gaming side of my life. <laughs> so we're going to go to the next question. Okay. Do you plan on trying to do collaborations with other Twitch streamers or YouTubers? Um with the Twitch side, a lot of people notice that um, I've been twitch I mean, not twitching a lot. <laughs> That's not so wrong. Um, a lot of people knowing that I've been streaming a lot lately. Um, I'm not planning on collaborating with any other streamers because this is not my thing. You know, I do it for fun. Um, I don't take it as serious like I do YouTube. So, no, I'm not planning on um, collaborating with um, other Twitch streamers. But I would love to collaborate with people on YouTube. I have before um, the person who did Link. Um, he helped me a lot. Nicholas, he helped me a lot. Um, so, yeah, check out his channel, too. Um, if you're watching, Nicholas, thank you for everything. Thank you for everything in general. Like, you're the only person that came through, even though you didn't have the best things. You know, we, did, we both didn't have the best things. You still came through for me. Uh, I would never forget that. Um... So that was like the only person with a YouTube that I um, collaborate with. But I am looking forward to collaborate with people in the future. Um, I did try recently, but um, it haven't been working out. So things happen for a reason. So, yeah, that's all about that. <laughs> so, um, next question. Okay. Okay. Are you going to start making story time videos? Okay. No. Simply no. I have tried doing that. And every time 
I didn't want to post it. I had a bad gut feeling of it's going to bring more negativity. It seems more negative. It felt more negative. And I didn't want to bring no negativity like that to my channel. So, sadly, guys, no. Um, but I will say some things while I'm gaming or something like that. Just say something on the side like I normally do, you know. But, yeah, no story time. <laughs> no story time deals. Um, how long have you been playing video games? Oh my gosh, ever since I was a kid, as long as I can remember, because I remember I would play Nintendo 64, you know, I thought it was um, my older sisters, who was 11 years older than, than me. Um, recently, my mom told me that the, the Nintendo 64 was bought just for me, and I had no idea, but the reason why I... Um, Started playing games hardcore because I grew around, mostly around boys, because there was no girls around my age. And my sister, being 11 years apart, she can't be around me and play with me all the time because she had friends, you know, because, you know, she was 11 years older than me. So, um, yeah, so, you know, I had my cousins who was closer to my age and other boys that was close to my age, and we just played games all the time, you know. That's how my love for gaming came, you know, how it was born, how it was, I was still passionate about it um but yeah that's what actually started it um so I've been playing games ever since when I was a kid you know with the Nintendo 64 you know that's old <laughs> so yeah um next question all right how long have you been wait hold on yeah how long have you been drawing the same thing with the gaming ever since I was a kid I just would draw random stuff and it extended to school before I even took art class on the side before the counseling when I got in high school I would draw a lot in class I got in trouble for it all the time and a little short story with that I remember I when I first got into hardcore drawing making comics and stuff like that you know building up my interest I would you know when I get done with my work in class I'll make a little comic book it would have cussing words in there <laughs> And um, I got in trouble because everybody was passing it around. And the teacher took it from, you know, my classmates and I when we were reading and laughing at it. And I got sent to the office and I actually got suspended for it. <laughs> Which was funny because I'm like, you know, it, it was crazy. Yet, um, actually, a little other side note, a lot of teachers, um, it was it was like the group that encouraged me. To do it but not drawing class still but there was this one teacher who told me that art ain't gonna give me anywhere um i was told negative and positive things about me doing that stuff but hey um they're gonna be teachers in life they're gonna try to discourage you because some people some adults are bitter and everything and they want other people's lives to be trash too so that's a little side note <laughs> so Okay, next question. Okay, are you going to do a phase reveal? Actually, that won't be necessary because you guys can go to my Instagram. The link is going to be below. Um, you can see pictures of me. There are highlights pictures of me. There are going to be post pictures of me. My profile picture is the picture of me. Um, so, yeah, follow my Instagram as well. You can see other um, things I do, such as my art and great stuff like that. So feel free to go to my Instagram and look at my pictures, you know, if you want to know what I look like. Um, so I don't think a face reveal would be necessary, you know. Um, the reason why I never use a web camera with um, gaming, because I can't afford it. I'm going to be honest, I can't afford it. So actually, hopefully, later on in the future, I can do that too, because I would love to do that when I have my own studio, because like I said, um... I'm in college. I'm trying to get my life. I'm trying to build a foundation right now. So I'll love to start doing that later on when I have my own YouTube studio and great stuff like that. So because I'm planning on doing YouTube for a long time after this. So, yeah. All right. Um, what's the other question? Let's see. Favorite anime and why? <laughs> I'll say, I know you guys are expecting me to say My Hero Academia, but no, that's the second. The first, the my most favorite anime is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> it's, it's very unique. It's, the art style is just so beautiful. This is why I love the anime so much. Is It keeps you tuned in. 
with with all the other series going on with um you know with the JoJo franchise it's still fresh it's still new they change it up a bit and you know they put they're all into this stuff um that's why I love JoJo's Bizarre Adventure like the art channel, I mean the art style changes um but not too dramatically you know is is you could just you could just see the passion in it you know there's nothing else to say JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is amazing okay um favorite game and why that's a hard one because <laughs> there's a lot of games I love. This is really, really hard. So, um, I'll say The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, you know, Nintendo wise. Um, I, as a fan of horror games, I love horror games. Um, Majora's Mask definitely had the creepy vibe, it scared me a lot as a kid. I was too scared to play as a kid, so I never won the game until later in my adult life. Um, this is why I love Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, because it gives you that medieval horror, all that crazy stuff going on, supernatural. I truly love that game. Um, so hopefully we could... I'm not going to promise anything, but it would be so cool to replay that game for YouTube. So hopefully I could do that. Well, we're going to see. So... Moving on, how did you create the foundation of your YouTube channel? Oh my gosh, um, it was a hustle. Um, like I said, um, I made the channel, but I ain't put no content yet. But I will go around. First, I, me being younger, I went around the school telling everybody to subscribe to my channel, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Literally going around telling everybody my name um, on my YouTube channel, tell them to subscribe. And then it was a thing called Google Plus. Um, it's something you have to have before, you know, for to make a YouTube channel. It's shut down now. I took advantage of it. I linked up with a lot of people. I added, I would like go down the list of people who is related to gaming and anime, you know, same interest. And I'll just add, 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 add. And I had so many followers over there, like 300. At the max, I think, um, there's a lot to me. 300 over there was a lot to me. And that's how I started, you know. Then I'll start posting my first videos there. And that's how it went on from there. Because Google Plus was a great foundation. Um, but yeah, simply going around telling people in your community is a great way to start. Even though you probably not have many support. But people still, like somebody was gonna, is going to, is going to, um tuned in or just be curious so yeah what do you want to do career-wise oh my gosh I want to be an animator and game designer um for the anime portion I want to make anime shows and movies um I do not have an interest in making comic books um this is not my thing and I want to put all pride and passion into making comics and everything i rather animate it this is me um personally um i do not desire to animate cartoons like for nickelodeon and cartoon network because their passion is long gone dead their designs are so poor and lazy the plot is lazy i have refused to work at those companies but if it's if i'm going to work for a cartoon ish company it's going to be disney but um i'm probably like i said life um, you gotta do something in life that you don't want to do, but like I'm probably gonna be somewhere that I want to be animating it. But heck, like that's life. You gotta work your way to the top. Um, but with that animation portion, um, I don't mind. It'll be an honor to work for Disney, actually, and you know, for any company that does anime. You know, low budget, high budget stuff. Um, as long because you know, no matter the company. With anime, they can have low budgets. They still have that passion. You know, it's not lazy, crappy design. Um, you know, and back to the Disney thing. If it's going to be... If I'm going to work for Disney, I'd rather work on their movies. Because their show's designs are getting lazy, too. And I don't like that. As an animator, I get... Up, a future animator, I get upset. And I highly judge them on it. Like, you got all this money. You know, you own all these companies. But you're going to, you know... But at, at that point, we all know Disney just want money. Um, That's why I don't want to work for too much of a popular company because it's all about passion for me. I know it's good money, but 
money isn't everything, you know. Um, with the game development portion, I I don't take any company because, like, no matter what, people are passionate about making games. You know, there is no company that I know are lazy with the game designs. Probably be lazy with the plot, but <laughs> the games are always good. The looks are always good. So I'll take any gaming company, honestly, to work with. Um, I personally want to have my own animation company to make anime shows and movies, but with the game company, I would definitely would like to stick with people like that because, you know, they're passionate. So, yeah, next question. What other things do you enjoy besides art and gaming? I love swimming. I love to read and write. Um, I like... um, Hanging out with my cats. Um, <laughs> so I love animals too. So I, I like going outside and spending time with my animals and playing with them and spoiling them and all that good stuff. I love going out, honestly, um, hanging out with some people I'm cool with. Um, you know, just overall have a good time. I love making, I love planning trips. I love planning. I just love planning in general. I just love planning. I just like to do this and do that and just... You know, go places. Um, but yeah, I can't think of anything else. But yeah, I love going to the casino. This is what I do. Um, I love besides besides swimming, I really love going to the casino. You know, I be I be at the penny machine, and in three hours at the max, I lose ten dollars. So because I be at the penny machine, so if you go to the casino, go to the penny machine. <laughs> um, it probably, <laughs> but yeah, um. I had to include the casino because this is where I enjoy. I enjoy going to casinos. Um, yeah. Okay. What motivates you to keep on streaming? What got you into it? And what drives you? Okay. This is a tricky question. Um, like I said earlier, um, I don't take streaming as serious as I do YouTube. Um, the reason why, you know, I will stream just to have, you know, for, you know, the YouTube gaming videos, but I've been doing it a lot because, you know, a lot of people tune in and we could just, like, a lot of people relate to me when I talk about, um, when I rant, because I use, I use Switch for ranting and playing the game, you know, because I love to rant, so, about everyday issues, sometimes stuff that I see in real life, and just rant on certain people, and a lot of people relate to that, it actually helped them out with their personal issues, so, yeah, that's what keeps me streaming because, you know, somebody's going to be watching. It no not matter what you do. It's always going to be somebody that's going to be looking up to you or watch you. So, um, like I said earlier, some people are going to be watching you out, out of curiosity and so, you know, stuff like that. Um, that's all the questions. So, um the future of this channel, we're going to finish Resident Evil 8. We're going to finish Sonic Adventure 2, Dark Story. Um, I have a surprise for you guys by next year. Um, <laughs> I know it sounds like a, a long time, but like, like next year, I have a surprise. Um, I would love to work more on animating, but like animating is so hard, you guys. I am one person. It is so, so hard and so time-consuming. Um, yeah, so, yeah, it's just, it's just, oh my gosh, it's just, I, yeah, it's just a lot, so, yeah, I'm going to continue with the speed paint series, and I will try to boost myself up more into making more animations, like, um, and most of my ideas, which, 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 another thing that messed me up, um, a little bit of tea here, I made so many animations with voice with voice acting and a lot of people would just be assholes to me and then when something else is getting done on my channel art wise without voice acting there are people being bitter about that um but yeah um that's a life lesson learned for me because heck like I want to have my own business so they're actually teaching me on who to mess with or who not to mess with or who to trust and not to trust with you know stuff and you know some people want you know, it's just like, like I said, like I take YouTube, like definitely animating. Like I said earlier, I rather work with people who is like serious and people claim they want to help. And then 
they their responses are so dry. People are being salty. Um, cause I, cause I was gonna do a bowman and Chichi. There are so many people that volunteer themselves, and then there was this one girl. She was just guilt tripping me that she never actually, you know, had a chance of being a voice actress. And I'll say, like, well, I can just kind of get you out there and kind of help you, you know, to some amount of people. And she just like didn't say nothing else to me. She just dodged me basically. So yeah, it's just like a whole lot of salt for these folks. And this is like, just say no. Just say no. So that's why, um, yeah, that's this kind of explains why a lot of stuff is canceled on that section. I know you guys are wondering what happened to the upcoming videos that you're supposed to do with the voice acting. It's because um a lot of people are just I don't know what's their issue, but it ain't bothering me because like hey. I could just go and do other stuff. I just it's just irritating me because it's a time waste. Like I could be working on a whole other project because I do have ideas without the voice acting that I could be working on. So it's I could be coming up with more ideas, but people just say, "Hey, you know, volunteer themselves," and then be like, "Okay, cool." Then they just bail out, which I don't understand. Probably because when I laid the law down to them, they probably wasn't gonna get all the benefits that they requested which is crossing the line and they figured they weren't going to take advantage of me that's what i believe and that's most likely true um yeah so i apologize you guys for that um that's why it hasn't been there but um the project is not going to be deleted um it's going to open back up even the oldest idea i talked about earlier um it's going to be reopened because i'm gonna find somebody eventually down the road so i'm not actually worried about that because hey like because you're going to most likely find people who are actually passionate and actually going to try. Um, but, yeah, again, thank you, Nicholas. Oh, my God. She, like I said, sh- again, shout out to him. He's been the only person who came through more than anybody with the voice acting. So props to him. Um, yeah, I'm glad I'm able to tell you guys, um, explain you guys the situation with that. Overall, oh, my gosh, I am so, so happy about all of this uh 500 500 um i am very appreciated to each and every one of you i am because it's like i know some haters gonna be like oh you don't even have that many you're, you're a small youtuber i don't care like people that support me people just like are like family i don't even see you guys as subscribers i see you guys as family like you know it's just just the fact that a whole lot of people support me. Just like you, you guys are just amazing. You know, I don't care. I'm I'm popular or not. I'm known or not. I don't care. It's just like you guys enjoy my work because you guys genuinely enjoy my work, and that's a great feeling. In in general, like before I even hit a hundred subscribers, when I was at like fifty or sixty subscribers, it was I felt the same way. I was like, dang, like wow, like people genuinely. They genuinely like my stuff. They genuinely, genuinely like me as a person, not because I'm popular, because I'm trending or anything like that. So, yeah, like, hopefully we continue to grow and just do more amazing things. I think the future is really bright. Oh, my goodness, I've been talking for a long time. But, hey, it's a celebration. Like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> um... Yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I don't think there's anything else I have to cover that people have been questioning about. I think I covered everything, I believe. But yeah. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for listening to this podcast. Um, I I have fun doing this podcast, honestly. Um, I might do more of them, depending on the topic or situation. I'm not sure, but I really love the idea podcast. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. I am so giddy. Ah, um, thank you, thank you for 500 subs. You lovely people have a amazing day.